Hello and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. My name is Moose78 and in today's video we are going to be taking out the Peterbilt 377 that was recently updated from Half-Ass Gaming out for a little test drive today. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching, first off, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I really do appreciate it. But also take a look around, consider subscribing, and if you do happen to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when new content goes live. So here we are in the truck customization window, and of course, this is the Peterbilt 377. This was just updated, like I said at the start there, from uh, half Bass Gaming. Lots of options on this, so let's just take a look and see what we have available. We got the 63-inch sleeper, we got the 48-inch sleeper, then you go uh, day cab, but I'm going to go with the 63-inch uh, stand-up sleeper, just because that is what I want. Then for the chassis, all sorts of options here. And this isn't really going to be a mod review. I'm just going to kind of set the truck up and we're going to take her on out for a spin. Uh, we will go with the 6x4 long 300 gallon tanks because need need dim fuels. Uh, for the engine, let's go with... Let's go with a 3406 by 50. And of course for the transmission, I want an 18 speed. What we have... Seems good enough. Interior. I still think this is one of the best looking interiors. Uh, back in the day, uh, Cascadia, a.k.a. John, uh, redid all the textures. Actually redid the interior as well for this. And man, this just looks so freaking good in ATS. Also great job uh, by Jeff converting this over to ATS. Man, just looks looks good. Looks so good. Then for the skins, you notice you got your basic, you know, colors. You got your custom metallic, all that. But I have a custom Eel River Transport skin, released to KTI. So we're gonna rock that. A little black and red action. Then for the visor, let's see. Got the Corby bow tie. We'll go with the Corby bow tie. There are some parts on here, of course, by Corby, as most of you probably know by now. Uh, bumper, we're going to keep that pretty basic. Grill, we'll keep that pretty basic. Uh, tires, I want some Michelins on here just because. That's what I want. And we'll go with the multi way 31570s there. Find the same for the drives. There we go. Throw on, eh, throw on the peat ovals. I haven't used those for a while. Go capless. Let's go back here and get the rear rims while we're at it. Peat ovals. Peat ovals. Now we'll go capless on the drives as well. Drive hub. Oops. There we go. All right, all that is set up. Now we can start to set up the rest of the truck. I'm going to keep the uh, the half steps on or the half uh, arrow skirts, whatever you want to call them there. I'm going to keep those on. Because I like the way that looks, and plus I like the uh, stacks, which I need to change those, actually. Uh, turbo wing horns. Let's throw some horns on here. Uh, let's go big roar. Rawr. Uh, li cap lights. Uh, those are fairly decent. We'll, uh, let's see. Just for the sake of changing them, I guess, we'll go with the Lumen Chrome. Uh, let's see. Main mirrors. Go with the classic ones. Side mirror. I don't want that on there. Exhaust. Uh, let's see. 
No. Angle cut with heat shield. Let's see, do they have those in short? I believe they do. Short angle cut. There we go. There we go. Uh, tanks. There we go. A little double strap action. Airlines. Uh, go headache rack. Go Corby rack, which that looks pretty cool. That does look pretty cool, but I like. We'll just go with the stock airlines, being all basic. Uh, body color deck plate. That actually looks kind of cool. We got the chrome in frame box, long deck plate, short deck plate. We'll go with the long deck plate. Let's see, Corby halves, those look pretty nice. I do like those in the steps. Uh, rear step double. Then we get to the back. Maybe. There we go. Because two piece light bar, I gots to have me the two piece light bar. There we go. That's what we're going to be looking like. Let's finish up the interior here. Get rid of that steering wheel. And let's go with... That should work. I think that's... I actually already have the truck set up. So I'm trying to remember exactly how I got it set up. And I think that is it. So we'll confirm that. There is our truck, and let's go ahead and cut over to the end game. All right, here we are in game. We are in Portland, Oregon, and gotta say, I am absolutely loving the Oregon DLC. The little bit that I have been able to play it, man, SES knocked it out of the park again. But uh, here we can take a just a quick look on the outside, what the uh, 377 looks like there in game. Go ahead and get it started up. Sounds really good. On the inside here, gotta raise the seat up real quick. There we go, that should be good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We are going over to Ontario. Let's see. Let's just mark that on the map real quick. There we go. We are using today, as you can kind of take a look around, everything looks a little bit like fall. It is the early autumn mod by Grimes. Link for that will be in the video description. And we are also pulling the 40-foot uh, Cheetah chassis. For uh, containers by Motto S. Yagi. This is on the Steam Workshop, so be sure to check that out. The wheels I'm using on it are from Smarty's uh, trailer wheel pack, so be sure to check that out as well. But uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Here in the Peterbilt 377 by Half Ass Gaming. Jeff did an awesome job getting this uh, updated. Thing looks great. Runs great, too. You don't need a supercomputer or anything like that to run it. I've noticed I've been getting some pretty solid, pretty stable frame rates running this truck. So that's nice because it's a great-looking truck. Awesome mod, so... Good job all the way around. for it. Took that a little bit wide, but that's okay. There we go.
Now, really, really impressed with the Oregon so far. It just seems like with each uh, DLC, at least since New Mexico, you know, New Mexico and Oregon, it seems like the game world has just, you know, come to life a lot more. And you take a look around at some of the billboards. I mean, you got a, you know, charged billboard over there. You know, I thought I saw another one. I know I've seen another one in in game. But uh, they've done a really good job with, uh, you know, the last couple DLCs. Heard a lot of rave reviews, so that is awesome. Their jack wagon. Ah, some things never change, though. Good old ATS AI. Excited to be using this truck though. Uh, back in the day, John, aka Cascadia, updated uh, this and uh, the 379 pack that he did way back in the day. But uh, redid a lot of the modeling, textures, interior, and man, this just looks so good in ATS. I'm sure you guys have used it already, so, you know, you guys know, but. Thing is nice and clean, looks good. Like I said before, you know, it runs good in terms of PC performance. thing I gotta get used to are the uh, Oregon speed limits there. Now I'm excited to be using this uh, fall mod by Grimes as well. Because I've seen it for Euro Truck Simulator 2. I hope that it would have worked uh, for ATS, but it never did. But of course now he of course has released a mod specifically for ATS. And I'm impressed with it so far. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Just kind of a nice change of pace, so that way, you know, everything in the game world's not always like summertime, whatever. Things up here, we do. We do, we do. And just look at this. Frickin' look at this. Look down there at the water. Trees are changing colors. Oregon skyline. Mm -mm. Tasty, tasty. It's hard to believe how far this game has come, you know, in just about, well, just over two years. It's almost three years. Crazy to think, you know, in what, four months it'll be out three years? And time flies. Time flies. kind of funny now that I have this truck in game and, and um, using it and everything it's just kind of funny how your brain kind of notices things like because I've noticed a lot more I want to say a lot more like not like a ton but I have noticed the occasional uh, 377 out on the highway here lately and everything so that's just kind of cool still see these old trucks beating up and down the highways Jake here. 
That sounds good. That sounds good. One thing I also noticed on this, when I turn on my uh, lights and everything, my FPS stays about the same. I really don't get any drops. So I don't know if that is just some game updates, probably a you know, combination of game updates and the mod itself, because this is not actually a real high poly model. That was one of the things that uh, Cascadia was really good about back in the day was trying to make his models look as quality as possible and uh, maintain a fairly low poly count. like he is and then he's be like yep nope 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 sorry but I am I'm doing it seems like there should be a light here like a traffic light or something but there is not sweet Lord Jesus That is a fun intersection right there. Aha, here we are at Walbert. Pick up our can. That's a easy. All right. We want the cargo market because we have an owned trailer. Take our jab. Here we go. Looks like we are down there towards the end. So probably. I believe I have not been to this Walbert distribution center yet, but it looks like we can drive around. So that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do here. The new prefabs look uh, really good too for the Oregon DLC. Yes, I don't need to use my turn signal there. <laughs> there we are, right on the end. Straight up, one more 
sein. Got our can on, let's turn our furways off, fire it back up. Throw on our lights. We are good to go. Trailer brakes are set, we're good there. Love the reflection, the lights on the back of the visor there and into the cab. Gives it kind of a cool feel. And it's going to take a minute to get out of here. People, let's get your lights on here, huh? We've got a nice little truck stop over there, which is one of the cool things I've noticed about the Oregon so far is a lot of the unique new, uh, or at least a couple of the new unique truck stops. shift in there. And of course, that is one thing I have noticed about Oregon so far. It seems like there's a lot of way stations.
And of course we're loaded, so we gotta go in this lane. use any uh, traffic density mod that I got off of the Steam Workshop. I'll link that down below too if you guys want to uh, check that out. Probably, at least my personal opinion, probably the uh, best traffic density mod that I've seen so far. Seems pretty realistic. Yeah, you kind of got to let me over there, Chief. Seems like it's just the right amount. A little bit more than vanilla, but not crazy traffic either. Seems like it's just right. Definitely, definitely have to get some more uh, daytime driving. It seems like I'm in a nighttime kind of cycle right now. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I like, kind of like the nighttime driving in game. You know, especially when you get cool effects like this. see i don't know if we'll get through this all today we might make it as far as pendleton take a break in pendleton pick it back up from there and uh yeah go from there
mark that so I don't forget it. Uh, let's see, that's just like a rest. Nah, I don't know what that is. If that's like just like a. So I wish truck stops had kind of a different icon than. Because I don't know what that is. I don't know if that is a truck stop here. We'll mark that. So you got something down here. It's probably probably a truck stop, but we just missed that. So eh, maybe maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Hmm. Eh, we'll check it out later. But that'll be our destination for right now. I have not fully explored Oregon yet. Really haven't explored it that much. So you kind of have to forgive me. I don't have everything memorized yet. Not that I would have everything memorized, but I just haven't played it that much. So I don't quite know what, uh, what and where everything is as of yet. have not checked this truck out definitely definitely go download this thing and mess around with it i think you'll think you'll enjoy it like i said looks great runs phenomenally well uh, performance wise so yeah go check it out go check out uh, the half fast gaming youtube channel as well a lot of great tutorials on modding blender tools Try to get uh, some more videos out uh, this week. Is this us up here? Yes, it is. You know, now that the Oregon DLC is out, I definitely want to play the game more, get some long trips in. So I can only assume, yeah, we are over here. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around. Consider subscribing. Be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified when new content goes live. But guys, until the next video, stay safe out there. Man, be good to one another. Take care, and we'll be seeing you.